Alright, it's time to find out just what the hell is happening with Bigby. Find out who's killing all these fairies. So where were we? I forgot. Uh, yeah, I made a decision to go to that other place first and now Lizzie, I'm don't, Lucky Paul. Don't give whatever. me that yeah. shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... My Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you I'm uh, the guy who just gonna... Sure. I'm the guy that keeps shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. And I really don't feel like mopping out this room today. So I'm giving you one more shot to thank me for my sunny attitude and generous disposition. Turn the fuck around and what? Time to go in. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out! I'd like to see you try <laughs> to back Jersey, oh, big talk. you won't be talking Woody, what is the one who's showing aggression for the most part? So cool it, Woody. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. Anyone, and I mean anyone who gets in the way of that has something else coming to him. What is your fucking problem? Just stay out of my way, all right? How you feeling today, Sheriff? Oh. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing what your What the tail? hell is that? Where's my ass? Who'd you give it to? I guess I'll let him. It's my fight, damn it. Go sniff around somewhere else. Woody? What? <laughs> Seems like the woodman has a habit of getting bit the crap out of him. Huh? Uh, protected your friend. Oh, that's the so axe. You could protect those whores. <laughs> Go on. Try to stop me. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking stay down. There she is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's one's not pretty strong. Oh shit! Talk though, don't I? The magic mirror's oh, missing okay. shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? 
What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Why just tell me this? Are you trying to rush me out of here? I'm trying to make a point, dog. You can have all the information you fucking want. It's not gonna help you when the time comes. And that time, it's a coming. So some shit's gonna go down, some shit really big. I know James... Just go on. Get cringe shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Okay, I guess we might find some clues in there. So yeah, it's that... For traveler's checks, huh? <laughs> Take you money this time. Needing this anymore. So far, I haven't checked, taken any kind of money from anyone, but uh, really, seriously, this guy's not gonna need any money. Do, 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 do. That sick piece of. <laughs> like I was saying, uh, James, not as in James from the Dead Among Us, my uh, RP series, but I'm talking about James as in one of my subscribers. Yeah, James has been telling me that the uh, something big is gonna go down. Good thing shard. he hasn't spoiled it for me though. It's the shard. Oh crap! Finally, things are looking up. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. But I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, Hear them out. it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. We'll see about that. So, Woodsman, are you gonna be my sidekick? Ah, all these games, man, with cigarettes. I quit a small. Give him one. Why are you making it so hard for me? I quit smoking. I don't wanna smoke anymore. Thanks. Shitty brand. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. I bet. He hasn't been all that jolly with the woodsman, but uh, it seems like uh, we're Jersey kinda... wrong, you know. About what? Same page. About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Uh, Rich. Hey, Woody. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? We all got our role to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. And what role is that? Being an asshole? <laughs> I guess there are much bigger assholes in Fable Town than Woody. As I'm finding out more and more. Especially the uh, crooked man. Seems like a big shot with uh, lots of bad intentions, so. 
Business office. This is where Snow is, I don't isn't care it? Who killed the prostitute? Oh, this asshole. Crane was helping himself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking ball himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> that asshole Finally, tampered with evidence. Things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? All right. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. I don't want to say anything in front of the, the Bobby. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? And don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Bullshit. Oh, fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I, I don't understand. Prick. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? <coughs> so, okay. come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not? <laughs> well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not if looking for a handout. Just what's right. I, simply don't have I need it, Big B. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? 
Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sherry. Use it to get glamour, Toad. Got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. I have to uh, get, get him off Snow's back. So, whatever it takes, I got the money. Now I used it on a, I guess you could say, a worthy cause. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say I have been better, but thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. <laughs> He's probably still waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. We gotta find out, but I mean, you know, Crooked Man is more important, though. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. How the hell does you know? Oh wow, what just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track okay. him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? Play along, why not? It's I important. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. All this magic shit. Door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I can't no make that you. promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see it. Did you it. see what kind if of influence this guy? people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. Fair to I have enough man. to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is... If you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. 
I'm gonna handle it how I think it should be handled, Snow. Just shut the fuck up and wait. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, we're gonna wrap up the episode here. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Cross out.